some editing I'm gonna have to do on this episode. <laughs> but that's what this is also all about. The lighter side of dispatch. Again, we started out with the hard and heavy stuff and we're ending it now with the funny stuff. Because laughter is good medicine and we're all here laughing together and it's okay. And in the first part and going on from now, it's okay not to be okay. Just remember that. If you ever need anything, reach out. And now to share one of my stories with you. I'll close with, uh, with this. Yeah, I got enough time. Okay, so it was when I was in dispatch, obviously, of course, and I was going in for my four-hour shift. I know. My dispatch center at the time, we had uh, three twelves and one four. It was always on a Wednesday that we had the four-hour shift. So I'm going in for midnight shift. I'm going in for 1A to 5A. And as I'm going over there, you know, I'm, I'm groggy, but, you know, I got to stay awake, right? So I stop at the gas station. I'm also hungry. Right. So I stop at the gas station. I get a can of Red Bull because I got to stay awake, right? Okay. And I'm starving. I'm looking around, looking around. I'm like, that's a nice burrito there. I... I'm gonna go ahead and get a burrito, a gas station burrito. It's called the Red Bomb, or maybe just the Bomb. Either way, the thing was enormous, and I thought, oh, this is going to be amazing. It's gonna be so good. It was amazing, just not in the right way. So I get to work, right? Go into dispatch, and I was gonna be sitting main phones. I go to heat up the food, and I got my can of Red Bull, come in, get briefed and everything, sit down. I chug that can of Red Bull, and I destroy that burrito. Mmm, it was so good. So then, I take a phone call. It's a phone call from the uh, center, that, or the county that's just south of us, and they've got a pursuit. So I think, I, I'm not sure, everyone is different. It's either be a well or a bolo. It's a be on the lookout, is what I was putting out for the radio operator to send out, you know, so they can be on the lookout for this car that's coming into, or going to be coming into our county, possibly. So I'm talking to the person, and I, s I start kind of twitching a little bit. I'm like, hmm, for real? My st I start getting a little bubble gut. It's like, blah, blah, blah. And I, I start twitching a little bit. I'm like, oh, hell no. The face starts getting hot, starts sweating. I'm like, this is not happening right now. He's like, you've got to be kidding me. And I'm, I'm trying to hold it in. And I send a message over to my coworkers, and I was telling them, if I have to put them on hold and jump and leave, please take the phone. Because I don't know about your dispatch centers, but my dispatch center had a bathroom inside the actual center, which I was not about to drop heat there with them, right? <laughs> so, yeah, see? Or I can go down the hall and do my thing. So, again, I'm talking stuff is bubbling up and it's talking to me and I'm praying. I'm like, God, please help me. Come on, stick together, stay together. Just because I'm a grown ass man, right? But I'm about to lose my shit literally <laughs> right there as I'm on this call and I'm, I'm holding it in. I mean, it's, it's horrible. I was sweating enough that if anybody was over there, they probably could have smelled like beef. Like that's how bad I was sweating. <laughs> It was horrible. So I put him on hold really quick, and I'm like, deuces, I gotta, I gotta run. It was more like a tray, but I had to run. So I'm running fast enough that I'm sure that they can see the smoke coming from me. Hopefully it's smoke, you know, not anything else. <laughs> Hauling ass, I go over there, do my thing, and come back. They're still on the damn phone. I'm like, I'll go ahead and take the phone back. I'm like, all right, we're good. They're kind of chuckling. I'm like, yeah, screw you guys. So I'm, I get back on the phone, and the guy, for whatever reason, is like going in circles. Like he was going, and then he was coming back. Like, no, they turned around again. They're going back again. I'm like, all right. And then again, <laughs> my stomach starts talking again. And you know, sequels, they're the worst, right? <laughs> in the shit world, it's the same. It's bad. I'm trying to hold it back, and, and I'm talking to the person. I'm sure they could hear me like, oh, I don't know what's going on. But I'm holding it enough that it's, you know, it's, it's, the gas is starting to travel up my back, so there's like back farts. So it's, it's just horrible, you know, you can feel it on your ribs. It's like, clink, 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 clink. So I put him on hold really quick. I'm like, dude, I got to go. And my buddy goes, you got to poop, dude. I'm like, why? 
why are you? So I go, take off, do my thing, come back. They're off the phone. I'm like, oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. The phone rings again, same people. I'm like, damn, put the stop sticks down already, you know? Take this guy out because I'm dealing with my own stuff right now. <laughs> and for the third time, my trilogy of poo that happens starts coming up again. I'm like, oh, Lord. So I put him on hold, and I'm like, I'm sorry. There's no way I'm going to make it down. I'm going here. <laughs> Not literally there. No, 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 no. In, in the bathroom that's within the dispatch center, okay? So I go in there, but I turn the water on. I turn the fans on. Anything to mask the chaos that I'm about to go into. Because if you've seen Dumb and Dumber, that's exactly what was happening to me. I'm in there screaming, God help me. I finish and I come out and they're both laughing at me and all I want to say is, screw you guys, I'm going to turn the heat up so that you can smell it because you're making fun of me, how about you, yeah, let's do this. So years later, I am with my family. We're on vacation. We're going to Washington State. We stop in Montana to get gas and stuff. I'm walking through the gas station and I, I feel this twitch I was like, whoa, what's going on? And I felt compelled to turn around. And there's a cooler of Red Bomb burritos <laughs> next to a shelf that has Red Bulls. And all I could think was, screw you, Montana. <laughs> That's my story. <laughs>